Hey guys, it's Kara here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to install Clip Paint Studio and on how to install brushes, assets, swatches, and more, all to make your drawing experience more smooth and fun. So let's get right into it. So Clip Paint Studio has come to Android, but for now it's specifically on Samsung devices, so it won't it's not in the Play Store, so where you have to go is the Galaxy Store. Galaxy store right here and you just search clip paint studio clip. there we go so you just click right here and we'll click install I already have mine installed so Gonna right into it and I know that it's coming for the Play Store soon but at the recording of this video it's currently not so it's only on Samsung devices sorry if you're on anything else so let's get right into it let me open up Clip Paint Studio for you guys and it is um it's not the one-time payment compared to desktop you do have to pay for um a subscription to use this unless you got this on a new Samsung device then you get a free trial you see do not see it there we go. Um, that was a drawing that I already did on it. All right, guys, let's get right into installing our brushes. So the first thing we're gonna do is, um, if it's if it's you're already lo loaded in, click um, open clip paint. So that way you get back to this screen, the starting screen, and click um, manage uh, clip studio assets, and that will take you to the clip paint studio asset store. And I recommend sign in. So that way you can save a lot of the brushes that will be um, showing in this video. So let me sign in really quick. Alright guys, I'm signed in. So I'm going to go to my favorites. And before that loads, I'm going to open this in split screen mode with um, Clip Paint Studio. I'm going to reverse the si sides because I like to have it right here. And the first brush that I'm going to install, let me scroll down. I'm going to start with my go on the first page so that I'm not missing anything I'm going to do everything in order I'm not going to install all these brushes in this video but I'm going to show you guys the main ones so I'm going to start with my watercolor brushes and to pull this one out I'll link this one down below in the description and what I if you guys it's the if it's the first time you guys are downloading it's going to say download but since I downloaded this before on another device I'm just going to click redownload Oh man, okay. Also another thing, make sure you're logged in on Clip Paint Studio on the app as well. I don't know why it's, it logged me out. And when you click download, you'll see that it automatically will start downloading it right here. And while it does that, let me download this water watercolor brush as well. It's another textured brush. And you see, the different things are downloading in this window. So now we've done two brushes. I'm gonna wait till that one finished. Downloads fully. Oh no, let me do another watercolor brush. This watercolor brush as well. Download. So after these three brushes, I'll show you guys how to install them in the actual, in the actual drawing. An actual like drawing part of Clip Paint Studio. The drawing interface, that's the proper word. So there we go, it's installing. If you didn't have it in split screen mode, it'll be hard to tell like, but yeah, that was like the confusing part. I had to install brushes, so it took me a while to figure that out. So now let's just slide back to full screen again. Let's return to paint. And um, for reference, let me just open like a, a canvas. All right guys, and now to uh, import the, the brushes we just downloaded, it's the good thing about Android is that you can hover, so it will be this button that says import subtools from material. And there we go, those are the brushes that we downloaded. And make sure you guys hit this tiny little, like, not checkbox, yeah, checkbox right here, so that way you can select them all. Um, these other buttons are just different ways to view it in case you download a bunch of stuff. And you just click the different checkboxes so you can install them all at once. I think I already have this brush installed. And then, and now they're all in. And look, look. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see very well. Maybe let me lower my brightness. So you guys can see that 
is one of the brushes. This one is another one, another. This one's the more opaque brush. It's a little bit more slow. And this one is the, okay. So now let's install some more brushes and we're gonna do the same process. Now let's go back to Clip Paint Studio, the start screen. Um, you should have um, the Clip Paint Studio um, asset store open. If not, you remember remember to click right here, Clip Studio Assets, more, and I'll take you there. And we're just gonna open it in split screen. Again, so that way you can see where we're installing. And now, let me do, let me show you guys actually how to install some swatches. Yeah, let me start with this skin tone one. And then click re-download. Again, we'll see it, the activity going on over here. And while it does that, let me download patterns as well. Let me do this uniform pattern. Actually, I haven't installed a pattern yet. I also do this pencil. This is one of my favorite sketching pencil. I'll link it down below as well. So it looks like everything has been downloaded. Now let's install it. Let's return to paint. You guys are going to need to have this panel called Color Set open. So if you guys don't have it right here, just go to Windows and Color Set and it'll show up. I have mine all the way at the bottom right here. Actually, let me switch it. Let me have it right here. And so what we're going to do is kind of hover. It's going to be the same icon. And the good thing about Android again is being able to hover. And there we go. And that's the that's the one that we downloaded. So now let's click and let's install it. And look at it. It's right here. And if you click the down arrow, you can see all your different um, presets. While we're at it, let's just import another tool that we downloaded. So you can import them in any section you want, but I like to keep them organized. So let me keep the pencils with the pencils. So I'm gonna click import. Let's import this one, my favorite sketching. Let's pick one of the, like, the skin tone colors. Let me show it off to you guys. It's really nice install some the rest of my whole collection let's open that in slip, slip view one more time oh one thing i didn't get a chance to show you guys is how to install patterns memphis pattern let me download that you download this pattern and i'll show you guys how to install those as well and let me go back and download a couple more um, swatches as well and it's almost done so now let's go back to turn to paint for the pattern you would open up the material window i usually have mine hidden right here but if you don't have it just pull it up through the window scroll down all right guys for patterns instead of like the import button it's usually in the downloads folder so it will show up as all materials sometimes it'll show up right here but if it doesn't click on downloads and for some of them like this one i can easily just drag um onto your canvas and there it will be then you'll you can also just drag it <laughs> for the most part you can just drag it and to and let's just clear drag and also another way if that's not working for you there's if you hover there's a paste selected material to canvas there's this little button maybe i need to zoom in well, hopefully you guys can see it i hover over it it'll say paste selected materials to um to canvas click that it does the same thing and let me do it on another pattern paste selected materials and there you go. That's how you guys install a re um, cute, um, really cute backgrounds and patterns for your drawings. So guys, again, here's a better close-up for the pattern. This is the button. Let me hover over it. Paste selected material. Some pattern brushes. It's the same process, but in case some of you guys are lost, a little bit confused about that, I wanted to show you guys how to do that one as well. So let's go in favorites. And again, open and split, um, split view. Some confetti brushes it's the same process but i just figured i would show you guys you see it's installing oh and i want to show you guys how to install these tool as well these are some selection tool that helps you select things with gaps and not gaps so let me download those two those ones are a little bit different to install personally i don't use those since the way that i draw, <laughs> draw there's always gaps in my drawing so i end up not using a selection tool but they're useful if your art style does fit for it or if you do really clean line art i don't do clean line art i just do messy sketches so i have a couple of pattern brushes now let's install them return to paint first let's start with the pattern brushes i like to keep all my pattern brush with on um, the decoration toolkit small and effects it doesn't matter which one you choose them out it's just better for organization 
especially when you end up accumulating so many brushes. So let's start with, um, let's do the check boxes for the confetti. It looks like there's like several of them. Let's install the confetti brushes. And then we'll go back with these three selection tools. Okay, since we're installing a lot of brushes, it is going to take a while so I don't recommend doing the way I did especially if you're using it on this habit six light per se you can't handle it um but it'll just take a while so let me just cut in one two three all right guys all the brushes finished downloading and if you scroll let me extend it and you can see all of them have been installed oh man let me make a new layer first there we go I was on the wrong layer and now, you guys see, oh, these are so nice. Actually, I um, found um, a lot of these brushes from Ocean Tons um, TikTok, but I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, look, there we go. I love this one a lot. That's how I install the pattern brushes. Now, let me clear and show you guys how to install the selection brushes. For the selection, we'll click the, click the, um, the marquee, the selection, the W, and let's import them over here. Oh, here's the rest of the brushes. Some more decoration brushes up here. But for now, we're just going to be doing these three selection. And how these selection work, um, these selection brushes work. First, let me go back to a regular brush. Let me make a simple shape, like a circle. Let me make, um, let me see, a heart. Let me make, a, let me see, something complex some weird shape and okay so the last one this the pink one is very useful you kind of just make a you just draw around the the shape you want and it fills in it fills in in for you let me do a different color so i can kind of like properly show and this one this one i think is the reverse oh, yeah there we go Personally, I don't use these. I don't know the main difference between them, but they're really nice if um, if you don't have many gaps in your in your art. Is this video is purely educational purposes. If you know anyone that kind of like is struggling to find cool brushes, link them this video. If you guys have any cool brushes patterns of your own, drop them down below too. It'd be really helpful, and I'd love to try them myself. And uh, again, don't judge me for this sketch. I was just kind of having fun trying to kind of show you overall all the tools and time lapse. Um, together and I'm um, like showing you guys the uh, different like switching back and forth between different swatches and like the really like experimenting with the um, patterns they're really cool and you can still edit them after you can zoom in it's just it's really nice um, it's a really cool feature of clip paint studio now to have it on mobile on Android that's awesome so this is possible on tab s6 Lite, um, tab s6 um, any galaxy devices even in your phone and if you guys have any questions comment or concerns leave them down below let me know if you guys want to see um a similar video for clip paint studio on the phone because i do have the sampling galaxy note 10 plus i can definitely do that for you so in case you guys are kind of confused or where like everything goes because there's like so much going on with this app well i hope you guys enjoy this um i'll catch you guys in my next video bye